Okay, today I'm going to show you all about jet engine igniter boxes. And uh, what I've been doing here is building up a homemade version. So the one down here is an old version of a jet engine igniter box. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's not much to them really. What you have is a capacitor and a discharge tube and a transformer and unfortunately on this particular one it's got an old igniter box the uh, trembler switch which converts the DC voltage into an alternating current to allow the um, transformer to work um, is, has been uh, removed and this uh, particular box has been uh, uh, quite uh, gutted and uh, is not working and I think it's probably um, come from a um, something like a Sea Vixen or a, a De Havilland Vampire, one of the older planes from the 1950s. So anyway that particular box isn't working so what I've done here is I've built up an all semiconductor version and um, the circuit is not my own I have to give credit to my friend Paul Bennett who uh, designed this circuit and uh, it's a lot more modern and a lot more smaller as you can see and uh, we'll go through the circuit I can just zoom out a little bit okay so what we have is we'll start off with a whiteboard that's basically what they call a PWM uh, circuit which basically chops up the DC similar to the trembler switch we had in the older box and you have a transformer like you have in the other particular box and then you have the EHT extra high tension silicon rectifiers and diodes and a voltage multiplier which uh, makes it back to converts it back into a high voltage DC uh, output and uh, and then in this particular box that I'm building I'm actually restoring an old uh, BTH box an old igniter box I've got my little bank of capacitors there which will provide the high energy, high energy charge so there we have it let's see if it all works so I'm going to connect it up so if you just watch the igniter plug and we'll see if we get a nice spark it seems to be working pretty well It's actually, it's actually discharging at quite a high rate. The video camera is not always picking it up. I'll just disconnect that. And the squeaking noise that you can hear is the uh, is actually the choke, which is that coil of wire there. So there we have it. That's a modern version of an old classic. And uh, I'm hopefully they will restore that and put it into a box, and it should all work.